All right, now. Oh, this is a great story. This is, this is fantastic. Now, we all know about um, Ukraine and Russia. Yeah, you're the weapons expert. Let us know. Okay, well, let's see. First of all, you get something called a HIMAR, a HIMARS, okay? High mobility, whatever, artillery, rocket system, okay? Rocket <laughs> Basically, you got a truck with a, a missile launcher on the rear of it, okay? And it's very effective because it's very light. It can be transported in a plane. You can drop it somewhere um, and it can drive out there. And it's not like a big heavy thing that needs to be on a big road or whatever. It can kind of go off road. It's very mobile, very light, and it's deadly, Okay, and it's it been is, used yeah. to great effect in Ukraine. It comes from America. They supplied uh, Ukraine with a bunch of these things. They've been knocking out Russian convoys mm. and things with them. Okay, it's been very effective. So, of course, um, Chinese state media has this guy. His, his name is uh, Liu Yugang, who somehow hangs out with the Russian hmm. soldiers Wait a minute. for Phoenix Chinese TV. Chinese state media, Phoenix TV, hanging out with Russian troops on the battlefield? Yeah. How did they get access to that? Yeah, so he goes around and he's always like sh- telling everyone how well Russia's doing and how crap Ukraine is and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah what a surprise. Yeah. Oh, but, but China didn't pick a side. No, no, apparently not. Anyway, here's the funny part. So he's in, the other day, he's he's in Ukraine, okay, with the Russian troops as usual. This is him, okay, and he's like, oh, I got to tell you guys something. You know these uh, M142 HIMARS? Um, it, by the way, in Chinese, it's kind of funny. They call it a HIMA because it sounds the same, but it, it means seahorse. seahorse. Yeah. So they call it a seahorse in Chinese. So he's like, the Russians have just destroyed um, an American HIMAR here in Ukraine. Like, we just destroyed one, and I got proof. And then his proof is Which this. Which would be a big deal, of course, Do because have, because yeah, n- none of these have ever been destroyed, by yeah. the way. So this would be the first time it's ever yeah. been destroyed, like in a foreign. Uh, so to make it super conflict. simple, China's bragging that Russia blew up an American high mark. Yeah, well, this this Chinese yeah. reporter yeah. for Phoenix TV on behalf of Russia. On behalf of Russia. <laughs> yeah. So this is his proof. Okay, he's like, okay, look here, everyone. Here are the remains, and he lifts this up, and it says there. Um, it's good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm Haima uh, Siling uh, Du Bujian, yeah. Yeah, Du Jian. And this Bujian, is, yeah. is a Bujian. Yeah. Sorry, my, my mistake from this distance, which means um, the broken parts of a Haimar. Okay, yeah. now the interesting thing is let me get out of here. There is an American flag. Actually, I'll probably get back in. There's an American flag yeah, it's on the there. side. It's, okay. It's so small, sorry. Yeah, it's small. There's an American flag, and then it says, but it says made in China. <laughs> Wait, why is that funny? Before I'm laughing because I know. Mm-hmm. Let's tell everyone why that's funny. This well, is supposed to prove that it's an American high mother that's been blown up. He obviously couldn't he didn't read, read it. He, he didn't read, read the English. made in China. Yeah. He's just like, look at this. Okay. This is the remaining like uh, broken dead parts from. And uh, Okay. Here's the thing. He turns it upside down. It's got I, English I on it. It says, it says custom auto sound 69 <laughs> to, to whatever. It's far away. 76 Chevelle. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, wait for it though. <laughs> wait, wait for it. Um, and he's like, "Look at all this. These are this is proof of this Heimar being destroyed. Guess what? Proof that it's American. Yeah, yeah. and that these are the like broken bits. This is the debris left over. Turns out, there's a Canadian YouTuber and TikToker yeah. who's restoring a burnt out like engine fire C3 Corvette. Now we know C3 Corvettes. We both owned one in the past. Yeah, we sold them. Yeah, but... we've since sold them and, and moved on, but I, I fully restored mine and we, we had a lot of fun. But what he's showing is he took, he actually stole this American, so this Canadian YouTuber's uh, TikTok because he was like showing, hey, look, it's burnt out and this is the radio. Let's look. This is side it's by side. His car. Side by side. Okay, on the right hand side is the Canadian, it's called... Uh, Jump Boost Garage, okay? Um, and on the left is the the Chinese state media, state media you know, douchebag who's going around saying, look, this is, yeah. the, the Russian forces have destroyed this high Mars and this is the proof. Here's the, the leftover bits, okay? And what that is, is it's an aftermarket radio, okay? As you can see, it's this custom auto sound. We actually had exactly the exactly same rating. Same we had the same one. And what it is, is, you know, these older cars, they come with crappy old radios that are yeah. like eight track or they're just only AM radio. Yeah. 
So if you want Bluetooth or something like that, you buy these like replica units made in China, like this one. Yeah. And you put it in your old car. It looks like the old thing, mm. but it's actually, you can connect to Bluetooth and so on and so yeah. forth, right? <laughs> and that's so what it was. So-called HIMARS. Yeah, these so-called HIMARS. And it's absurd that they would use that in their state propaganda. This is the guy that they ripped it off from. By the way, thanks to uh, Sydney Daddy as well. Yeah who's a friend of the show and he patron i'm a patron of him great yeah. guy uh, if you follow chinese language media uh, he is a cr critic of the ccp in chinese yeah. yeah in chinese so uh he put out a video about this um and this is this is the guy by the way showing the radio and he shows <laughs> that the, the serial terrible. numbers and everything match up from the burnout and that's wreckage. his burnt out corvette it's a it's a 78 corvette uh completely burnt out and he showed the radio that is the thing that was used in the propaganda he's all pissed off about it you know so let me get this straight i just want everyone to understand yeah chinese state media went to russia to back up the back the soldiers and yes. show that they destroyed an american high mars system yeah they stole a clip from a canadian youtuber his Corvette, burnt out Corvette, and said the burnt radio from his car was proof that the High Mars was destroyed by Russia. Yeah, this is the wreckage of the High Mars. Yes. This, and look That's at all these this, electronics. Like, how did they think nowadays with current internet technology that somebody's not going to figure that out? And how did that guy not look at it and, and read the Made in China part, by the way? Well, he can't read English. Yeah, but that's like basic stuff because it's got an american flag yeah in it. so it's like oh, so he's like oh yeah but think about that that would have had to pass through mul he didn't just jump on that that would have had to pass through multiple people editors and all this kind of stuff and no one caught that yeah you know what frustrates the crap out of me is that uh well at the end of the day this proves that if you're engaging with tiktok you're engaging with the enemy yeah it's the way it is the chinese government yeah obviously a chinese government that's yeah. who i'm talking about yeah. that's who's using this yes so what For state the, media purposes the guy posted that clip because he basically was saying like oh this is the burnt out radio i'm gonna try restore this or whatever right he posted that on yeah. his tiktok yeah adult swim has has a good point he says if you put it on tiktok you don't own it no yeah he put it on tiktok which is of course controlled by chinese company mm -hmm. bite dance who answers they, to the Chinese government. The Chinese government, the Chinese government then took that TikTok video and <laughs> used it as propaganda to say that the Russians had destroyed a high Mars in Ukraine. I mean, it's so chabudor. Yeah. But it's so funny. It's hilarious. I love it. I also love the fact that it actually says made in China on it. It's so good. Like how dumb, how dumb do you have to be? Oh, look, it's an American high Mars. This is the proof made in China. What a dumbass. So actually, I have had a run in, you know, Phoenix Media, who you yes. just pulled up? This is Chinese state media, it's called yes. Phoenix TV. And they actually did a hit piece on me yeah. on primetime TV. Yeah. And I'm not joking. This is not, we didn't Photoshop this in. I actually covered it on my channel a while ago, yeah. where they spit on me. Yeah, I Because remember. I made a parody video about how I hate my wife, which was a joke. It was a joke video. It was a two-parter. It was like, yeah. why my wife hates me yeah. and why I hate my wife. And it's it was a parody on why people think that their cultural differences are so bad. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's because we actually love each other and we love yeah. our cultural differences. That's right. But they took it verbatim. They did. And it's so cringe and so sad. And then they ripped me apart and spit on me on TV. Yeah. So enjoy. Yeah, let's take a look, everyone. Same. This is the same channel that put same this channel. crap out. What he said to her. 睡前一定要洗澡，亲戚爱串门，太粘人，爱省钱，每天都买菜，呸，呸，呸，呸，呸，he <laughs> <laughs> spit on me. Yeah, he did. That's not a joke, by the way. That no, actually, that actually did, did happen. Full on, like five minute hit piece on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs>